Hello and welcome to another Mission Models video. Today we're going to concentrate on metallics. We're going to do basic metallic painting, the ins, the outs, the how-tos. This is a basic general guide. So we've got a 30 second scale. Ravel Germany P51 Mustang. This is the uh, new kit here. And what we're going to do is we're going to start with the MMM003 uh, aluminum. And we'll do that as a base coat. And then we'll use uh, other uh, shades of, uh, you know, cold rolled steel, dur aluminum, metallic burnt iron, and, and, and so forth. So let's get started with, uh, with mixing. So we're going to start with, uh, like we said, uh, MMM003 uh, aluminum. All of the Mission Models metallics are extremely durable. They're all based with 6061 aluminum. They're slightly thinner than the standard line of paints, but they're used essentially in the same exact manner. Use the same thinner, you use the poly, and so forth. Very, very easy to mix, very, very easy to use, very, very easy to clean up. And again, ultra durable when dry. So what we're going to do, again, as usual, is we're going to start with our 30 drops. So that's 30 drops of, uh, of, of paint or uh, aluminum, in other words. And as you can see, by nature, it's a little bit thinner than uh, the standard line of uh, opaque colors, non-metallics. What we like to do is we like to add just a couple drops of thinner, just for good measure. So I'm just going to put in one, two one two two drops just to thin it down just just a little bit it's just how we like to spray we thin everything you don't have to we like to and what we're going to do is we're going to take a little bit of the mma001 polyurethane mix additive and we're going to add six drops it's about six drops So that's mixed up. So what we're going to do also is take this half of the fuselage, which has already been primed. It's been primed with a gray primer. You don't have to use any type of gloss black bases, anything like that. What we can do for good measure is we can uh, wet sand it, or actually I should say, I'm sorry, we can just dry sand it. The smoother the finish, the better. So I'm just lightly, you don't have to, but we like to, just kind of lightly knocking it down, just dry sand. Get a nice, smooth, even, blemish-free finish here. Very quick, very simple. Okay, so nice and smooth basically glass smooth, very quick, very easy. Make sure you get rid of any kind of dust, any particles that might be uh, on the surface. Before you spray, so we're gonna take our trusty Harder Steenbeck Evolution. We're using a 0.2 needle nozzle. And we're just gonna pour the aluminum straight into the cup. We're gonna close our MAC valve. Okay, so we're not getting any kind of spray. We've basically shut the air off. Okay, we're gonna test before we spray. We'd previously cleaned this airbrush, so there was, again, as we've mentioned in other videos, when you clean the airbrush, you will have residual thinner or water in the chamber, so you wanna spray that through. Test first. Now, aluminum is naturally a lighter color. So you're going to want to do several passes and build up. So let's start spraying. Nice even passes. It'll look highly transparent in your first coats. And we like to let each coat dry thoroughly. Just go nice, light, even passes. Now. As the carrier in the paint evaporates, the paint itself will come into its own. So let's, let, let's take a minute and let this dry and we'll be right back.
and we'll do another pass. All right, so we've let our first coats dry a couple minutes and we're gonna go back in and we're gonna do a few more passes, light wet coats, allow it to build up. Again, as I mentioned before, aluminum being a, a lighter color uh, is gonna be more transparent. So don't try and cover in one pass. You heard that little noise from the airbrush, that meant we were out of paint, stop spraying. We just put a little bit more uh, paint into the, uh, into the airbrush cup. So we're gonna let this dry. Okay, so we let our last passes dry and we're gonna do a couple more passes. Now for comparison, you can see this is the other half of the fuselage in straight primer. This is the side that we're painting, which is number MMM003 aluminum. So you can see the difference. Now let's do a few more passes. We're using an Evolution. with a .2 needle nozzle. Don't rush, just take your time. You wanna go on nice, light, wet coats. And we're gonna let this dry. And we're gonna clean the airbrush. So let's clean the airbrush. Same methods as before. Spray bottle, there's straight water in here. Squirt it through. Okay, that was just water. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take a little bit of the MMA002 or three uh, thinner, and we're just gonna fill the cavity there. And we'll just put this Q-tip in there for good measure, wipe out a little bit in the bowl, or the cup. Spray it through, it's basically clean. Just drops. Water will flush out your paint or your metallics and then follow up with a few drops of, uh, of thinner. And if you're in doubt, if you're not sure, a little residue, and just very carefully with a Q-tip or whatever, just carefully just wipe off any residue. And we're clean. Okay, so we're back and we've, we've shot our, uh, uh, our aluminum base on this side of the fuselage. Again, here's the other half, which is primed, so you can see how to build it up. You don't wanna rush. You wanna do nice, even, methodical, uh, consistent passes. Let each coat dry, let the carrier evaporate out of the paint, and you will see that the uh, metallics will start to come into their own as the uh, carrier evaporates. So the next color we're gonna shoot is uh, number five, MMM005 Duraluminum. Now this is not about accuracy or getting the right panels, you know, shades on proper panels and so forth because that does take, you know, more time in masking. Uh, so you can see we've, we've masked off some, you know, some basic areas and now we're gonna move forward with uh, Duraluminum. And again, we're gonna do 30 drops. This is a 30, uh, milliliter mixing cup or one ounce and again like we said depending on where you live so you can see the dirt aluminum this is straight out of the bottle and what we're gonna do just for good measure is we're gonna add just a couple drops of thinner one two three just to kind of thin down the viscosity a little bit let's stir it up like that and we're gonna add some poly for additional uh, adhesion and durability we like to put poly into everything we uh, shoot so we're putting in about six, seven drops, and we're just gonna stir that up. Just mechanically mix it like that. And again, we're gonna take the uh, Harder Scene Beck Evolution with a point two that we were using previously. And when we remember, when we cleaned the airbrush, we had water and thinner residue in the chamber. So we'll wanna spray that through so we get to straight paint. 
Okay, so I'm going to close the Mac valve. I'm going to open it back up. And again, nice even passes. All right, so let's let that dry. Okay, so we've let this uh, dry and now we're going to do a few more passes. Light coats, well I should say light wet coats. You just don't want to flood it on. And let your passes dry. So we've let these passes dry again. And one thing I wanted to mention, uh, if you remember in the beginning of the video, uh, we, uh, we did a little dry sanding with a 2500 grit uh, pad uh, on the primer. The smoother your base coat is, the more refined and the smoother your uh, metallic shades will be. It's optional, depends how much work you want to put in. We didn't do, you know, a super hardcore sand job. We just basically did, you know, a couple passes with the pad, just to show you. But you can progress through different uh, grits. 2500, 3600, you can go all the way up to 12,000 if you want to get a mirror finish out of the primer and then do your metallics. It's a lot of different methods. But again, the most important thing is just taking your time, being patient, letting it dry. You can see how it looks wet here. As that dries, that's the carrier. It'll start to evaporate out and you'll have a nice, beautiful metallic finish. When we remove this tape, you'll start to see, you'll see the different uh, you know, shades between the dirt aluminum and the aluminum. And this is where you can start to get your panel variation. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna remove this tape. Just no lifting. Pull it off at an angle, it's the proper way to Remove tape. Look at that, beautiful. Check that out. So you can see the panel variation between the aluminum and the dur aluminum. And we're not going by any reference. We're just kind of showing you what can be done. So the next color we're going to do is uh, we'll do cold rolled steel. Okay, so we've done our base aluminum and we've done some panels with dur aluminum to give some variation. The next color we're gonna move on to is number MMM002, cold rolled steel. We've masked off a few more panels. Again, this is not about accuracy. Uh, we're just showing you again, um, you know, how to use the, the paint, the metallics, how quick and how easy it is and the durability. So let's just shake that up. Put in 30 drops. You don't have to use that much, but it's a good starting point. A little bit of thinner. You can see the viscosity. You can already see that the cold rolled steel is pretty thin. But so we'll just put one, two drops in. Our thinner is very, very powerful, so it'll break it down very quickly. Adding thinner to everything is just our method. And we're gonna add six drops of poly. One, two, three, four, five, six, okay? You can go up to 12. If you have like 30 drops of paint, you can add 12 drops of poly. But we start with six, seven drops, just as a starting point. And we're gonna again take our same airbrush, pour it right into the cup there. Test, make sure that we don't have any you know, excess. And we'll just start to uh, kind of feather it on there. Again, same method. We'll try and cover in one pass. It's really kind of not how you paint. You want to kind of build up and let the, let the coats dry. Yeah, 
Uh, we've let those uh, panels dry or those those first few coats continue on nice even passes no need to go on super heavy again I'll try and cover in one go get better results in layers use your best judgment We're spraying uh, between about 10 and 15 PSI. The sound that you hear is the air hitting the surface. Doesn't mean that it's high PSI. Okay, so we're back. Uh, we've let these uh, cold rolled steel panels dry off to the side. And we're gonna remove the tape. Peel it off at an angle. It's always the best way. Okay, so, yeah, geez, all right. So there's our, uh, our, our basic uh, natural metal finish here. Again, like we said before, not about accuracy. You know, you're not gonna find cold rolled steel, you know, on the fuselage and, and whatnot. You might find other colors like white aluminum, dark aluminum, things like that, but definitely aluminum, dur aluminum, and so forth. Uh, looks very much like a, checker pattern here but the point was to kind of show you what she can do all right so what we're going to do here is we're just going to mask a panel real quick and we're actually going to shoot dark aluminum mmm 007 back over this aluminum panel here again it's not about accuracy it's just a quick demo Dark aluminum, and we'll do 30 drops. Like we always say, we use 30 drops because it just gives us something to work with. You can see the consistency of the dark aluminum. A little bit thicker than the standard aluminum. Or I should say, say straight aluminum number three. And we'll add a little bit of poly, one, two, three, four, five, six. So we've got 30 drops of dark aluminum, a few drops of thinner. I think it was like four drops of thinner, put one more in there. You don't have to thin the, the uh, metallics, we like to. So we'll just mechanically stir it up. And we're gonna take our airbrush and remember, like we always say, when you clean the airbrush, you'll have, you know, uh, residual thinner and water in the chamber. So you always want to make sure to spray it through, get everything out. Never use any kind of lacquer thinners, alternative thinners, universal thinners, Windex, any of that. Don't do it. Test first. All right. Nice even passes. So we've let this dry maybe, I don't know, maybe about 15 minutes and we'll do our next pass. Always test before you shoot. Nice even coats. All right, so we are gonna just do one more quick pass just for the fun of it. Use your best judgment to achieve the finish that you want. We also truly recommend letting the metallics or any of the other paints, you know, dry a few hours, 12 hours, you know, overnight for maximum durability. Um, it's just really the best way. We're working really fast just to show you the basics and give you a general, um, you know, general guidelines on how to apply the metallics. 
And the next color we're gonna do is white aluminum. We'll find some other panel to mask off and do that. Okay, so here is our dark aluminum. We are gonna remove the tape. If you don't let the paint thoroughly and totally dry, it could still be soft. You might get a little scratch in it. That's because it's soft. You really want to take advantage of letting it dry thoroughly. So the next uh, shade we're gonna do is uh, white aluminum. And really what we're also doing is just going to show you the different shades, how they look. White aluminum. Uh, will be pretty uh, translucent. You just want to, you know, build it up in layers. Don't rush. There's no point. Rushing ends in disappointment. Sort of like these uh, little scratches and things like that. Because we're moving fast. Got a fresh bottle of uh, white aluminum, number 8. MMN008. 30 drops, that's to the uh, eighth inch mark. One ounce epoxy mixing cup or 30 milliliters. And you can see it's uh, the viscosity there. We're gonna add one, two, three. You just use your best judgment. Like I said, we like to just add a few drops of thinner to the metallics. And one, two, three, four, five, six drops of uh, a poly mix additive. Swirl it up in there. All right, so we've put the white aluminum into the uh, air, the cup of the airbrush. And again, we're gonna make sure that we don't have any residue. Spray that through. Okay. white aluminum so it's very light so you may need a few passes to get the finish that you want let's let that dry a moment remember you want to let the carriers evaporate out of the paint and the metallics will just come into their own and we'll be right back all right so we've applied a couple uh, passes of the uh, white aluminum here and uh, we're gonna remove the tape again just be patient okay so white aluminum dark aluminum cold rolled steel aluminum uh, dur aluminum dur aluminum Cold rolled steel. So you can basically see all the panel variations. Like we've said before, we're going very, very fast. Very fast. And the key is to really let everything dry. Let it dry for a few hours. These are the essential colors uh, for doing a natural metal finish. Um, you can tint the colors. You can add, uh, you know, almost any shade of Mission Models paint to many of the different metallics to alter uh, the color, to tint them, and so forth. You know, we'll talk about doing some of that in uh, another video. What we're also going to do is we're going to take our chrome right now, and we're just going to do a highlight, just a dusting right up here to show you how you can really kind of make it pop. So we've added a little chrome to the cup. Again, spray through any residual from cleaning the airbrush. And if you just want to add a little bit more pop, from a distance, just kind of dust on a little chrome, make it pop a little bit more if you want. The longer the chrome dries, the brighter it gets. The chrome is very, very durable. It's great for a polished look. You can see.
Okay, so you can see where we had applied some very light dustings of, of chrome along the backbone of the fuselage, the top of the cowl, and we're gonna just do it again. Why not? Just really kind of make it pop even more. We're going fast. I mean, we're going fast here. We're not, not a contest model, none of that. This is just to kind of show you the various things that you can do and how you can have fun. It's all about experimenting as usual. We always say that it's about experimenting, thinking outside the box, problem solving. Model building is problem solving from the time you're standing in the hobby shop looking at the kits, trying to figure out what to build. Is it the right thing? Is it the wrong thing? Do I want to do natural metal? Do I want to do an olive drab finish? Do I want to build a car? Whatever it might be. So just, you can see that pop. You can see how it's really starting to pop out. And again, like the paints, the longer the chrome dries, the brighter it gets as the carriers evaporate. The chrome is tough as nails. You don't have to be gentle with it. You can handle it in any manner. It's not gonna come off, but you really need to let everything dry to reach maximum durability. But you saw how quickly we uh, had masked and removed the tape uh, with zero lifting right over all these different metallic finishes. Uh, all of our metallics are 100% water-based. They're odorless, they're non-toxic. You can spray them anywhere. You can clean them up with water. They don't clog the airbrush. Uh, let's just do one more, just for the fun of it, one more pass of, uh, of, of chrome. And we will be doing a chrome video, dedicated chrome video, showing really all the different ways that it can be used, how you can wet sand it, how you can dry buff it. Really you can do a, a lot with it. It's pretty incredible, I tell you. I mean, you can see right there that detail, how you can, it's really starting to shine, really starting to reflect. really do a lot with it. Okay, so that was basically a quick tutorial on applying metallics. Uh, we've got various different shades. You can see uh, the contrast uh, as the shades change. You know, white, uh, aluminum, a little dusting of uh, chrome over the aluminum for a little additional pop on, on uh, high spots and uh, compound curves, curved surface, the backbones and so forth, cold rolled steel and all sorts of uh, different shades. So really, uh, as we mentioned, uh, a little bit repetitive here, uh, this was a quick, quick tutorial. Take your time, practice, add variations to your models. Um, you, know, you can also create your own style and your own signature to make your models stand out from the rest. Um, we know there's a lot of you know, color by number uh, type of methods out there, but if you just think outside the box and you do what you feel is right, you will find the most reward and that's how your models will stand out from the rest at contests and so forth or on the shelf or on display in a hobby shop or when you, you know, show your friends at a local club. We'll be doing more uh, tutorials on, on metallics, also weathering, washes, and so forth. But this is basically it in a nutshell. And don't forget, let your paint dry. Let it dry overnight. Take your time, slow down, relax, keep it fun, make mistakes, learn from them. Because if you don't make mistakes, you'll never learn. And that's the basic principle of, of what we're doing here. So that's it, hope you enjoyed it, hope you learned something, and um, till next time.